literally pours itself. Just lift up right like that. Let go of the card and it will just magically float. <laughs> Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, oh, magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I am showing you how to do three magic tricks that defy gravity. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. This first trick is an amazing illusion that actually operates under the principles of science. Check it out. I'm gonna take the chain, watch. Okay, here's how it's done. So this is what you're gonna need right here. This is beaded chain. I'm actually gonna be giving this away at the end of the video, so stay tuned till the end for a fun giveaway. You can win this chain and perform this at home. So all you need is a big roll of this, and you're also going to need like a glass jar or a beaker or a cup to put it all inside. So what you wanna do is try to kind of coil the chain up in the bottom of the cup like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You wanna continue that for the entire roll. And now that you have it filled all the way to the top, you're ready to start the trick. So you can present this to your audience and all you have to do this is completely self-working all you have to do is get it started it's best to do this as high off the ground as you possibly can like up on the ledge of a deck because as the chain falls and more of the chain gets below the glass the weight of the chain combined with gravity is going to pull the rest of the chain and the glass up out of it and give us this really cool arching effect where it looks like the chain is just kind of floating out of the cup kind of defying gravity it's super easy to do all you have to do is put the chain in the cup get it started and watch it go and that is the secret behind the magic levitating chain. For this one, you're gonna take a magical liquid and make it defy the laws of physics. Take a look. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you. This is actually a trick that defies gravity. So I have a mysterious magical liquid here. I see. And then I have a cut off Fiji bottle because that's all I can find. Uh, so watch, all I do is take the liquid and start pouring it into the Fiji bottle. Watch. Okay. And if you tilt the glass back, it'll continue to pour out of the glass on its own. Just gonna keep going. Whoa! That's amazing. Is that cool? How is it? Magic. Whoa! <laughs> what just keeps going? And it's tilted up. That's that's crazy. Yeah, no, it's like right. fully tilted all the way back. Oh my! What? And it keeps going. Is that wild? It's like always or all the way up. Here is the setup behind this amazing gravity defying trick. Here's what you need to pull off this amazing illusion. This is a powder called polyethylene oxide. It's gonna sprinkle about a gram of this into a cup or beaker. Then you're going to mix it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You're gonna mix that up a bit and then you're gonna add some water. Now you're going to mix the solution until the powder is completely dissolved in the water and the alcohol. And you'll feel it start to thicken up as you stir it. It's a little thicker than water. Now as you can see, when you stir more more this will start to mix it almost looks like a really thin slime or kind of like oobleck now the reason the effect works the reason it's able to pour itself is because the polymer chains of molecules inside of the liquid they all link together when you pour water out of a bottle or a cup obviously when you stop pouring the water molecules stop moving out of the bottle they all stop right here because they're not linked together closely enough that the water molecules pouring down this stream don't pull the molecules inside the bottle out. Another way to demonstrate this is to tell you that the molecular weight of water is only about 18, whereas the weight of polyethylene oxide is in the neighborhood of 600,000 to a million. So there are so many more molecules connecting in here to pull all of this together. It is completely non-toxic and it's actually drinkable, although I would not recommend it as polyethylene oxide is the main ingredient in a lot of laxatives, uh, which actually makes sense when you think about how it works with the molecular chain. It basically 
basically kind of like pulling everything in your body out with those molecular chains. It's really interesting. Behind gravity and the laws of man. So as you start to pour, you just barely get started here, and it will continue to pour out even after you stop pouring. If you just let it sit here, the entire thing will pour out on its own even after I've stopped tilting it. And it's just defying gravity. It's so crazy. So it's climbing the side of the glass like that. Liquid literally cannot flow up and over anything, except in this case. So very simple. Once you have it mixed up, all you have to do is start pouring, tilt the cup like super far back, almost to where it's straight up and down. And the liquid will still be pouring out of the cup. You can see it creeping up over the side of the cup right there. And it really will empty the entire cup this way. You can see the liquid just flowing up out of the cup like that. When you have long polymer chains like this, pulling the molecules out of the cup, it really looks like liquid is just flowing up like that. A good way to explain polymer structure of the different liquids, you can kind of think of water like rice. It's tiny little molecules separate from each other. But this is almost like spaghetti. All of the molecule chains are tied together and that's why it's almost like a slime it pulls the rest of the molecules out of the cup. And that is the secret of the magic self-pouring liquid. Okay, this one is a cool little pocket trick that's a great magic challenge to do with your friends and family. Check it out. Okay, another cool trick to show you. This one uses a special little prop right here. Also, you guys at home, stay tuned to the end. I'm giving this away to one lucky comment so that you can do this trick at home for your friends and family. So it's a little bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on its side like this. I'm actually gonna use the force. I'm gonna keep it there, watch. It'll just sit right like that. Perfect. Now, I want you to give it a shot. I want you to try. To make it sit still? Yeah, to make it lay on its side. <laughs> so obviously you can't do it, or I guess I can do it. You gotta use the force. <laughs> Alright, um... You wanna see me do it? It's really easy. I just did that! It's easy, you try. What are you talking about? Do you like lay your hand, or, okay. Lay down! Lay down, lay down. Stay. There. It's not working at all. I can't. I don't get the hand thing. Yeah. There's a secret. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. So the secret to the imp bottle, that's what this is called, I-M-P bottle. The imp bottle is this. It's a little metal bar that you secretly slide into the bottle. And when you have the little metal bar inside of it, the bottle will lay flat on the table just like that. But if you remove the bar, this thing will not stay on its side for any. There's a weight in the bottom of the bottle that keeps it upright. So when you sit it on its side, if the metal bar is not inside of it, it'll just automatically pop up to an upright position. And there's nothing you can do to get it to stay on its side without the bar in it. It's literally impossible. So you can watch them bail over and over trying this, trying to get it to lay on its side. And then you can take it back from them and secretly slip the little metal bar inside the bottle. So you can use the force to keep the bottle down. And then when you hand it to them, you're just gonna very casually tip it over and the a little bar will just slide right out into your hand just like that as you hand it to them. So from a cutaway view, here's the move. As you hand it to the spectator, a little bar is just gonna slide out right into your hand just like that. And you're gonna conceal that while they attempt to make it lay on its side. Now after they've failed a few times and the bottle's just defying gravity and won't lay on its side, you're gonna take it back and you can simply slip that bar in for you to try and make it lay on its side. And when you hand it back to him, you just do the move again, let the little bar slip out. And you want to do this as casually and nonchalantly as possible. Like you're handing it to them, you don't need to be quick about it, you can just wait until they grab it. And that is the secret to the magic bottle challenge. Alright guys, it is bonus trick time. Check it out. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with a drinking straw. So okay. if you will, remove the wrapper for me. Just take it out in a certain way. However you feel in the experience. I never know. <laughs> I never know. Okay, I'm gonna take this back. All right, so I'm gonna take it in my fingertips right here. Okay. Watch. I just kind of let go. Oh, it looks like it's... it just floats to the other hand. How did you do that? Whoa. Wanna check it out? Yeah, it's a real dry opening. <laughs> I'll teach you the secret. Now, here's the secret behind defying gravity with a straw. So here's the explanation to the magic straw trick. This is all static electricity. You're just gonna build up a static charge between your hands like this, and you can kind of just make the straw just come out of space a little bit. It kind of just, it'll sit in that static field between your hands. 
I'm kidding. It's actually a loop. That's how this is done. We sell these in the shop. They're invisible elastic thread. Let me show you how they work. What you need is a drinking straw. You can use any straw for this. And you're going to need a pack of loops. Loops by Egal Masika. They are tiny little loops of invisible elastic thread. There's eight in a pack. I've already used four out of this pack. So there's four left here. Probably the most ingenious trick ever invented. It's my favorite gimmick. It's my favorite utility. I wear them all the time. You just wear them on your wrist. It's like a little elastic thread bracelet. So all you do is take your little elastic thread bracelet right here. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. It's really, really hard to see. But you're going to stretch that between your hands. So you're going to bring your loop up like this. You're going to take the straw on your fingertips. You're going to bring your index finger of your left hand in like this to catch the loop. And you're going to stretch it out just like this. <laughs> it's going to let these straws sit right on top of the two threads of the loop. Kind of hard to see this, but it'll just roll right across just like that. Now the trick to this is catching it at the end of the roll. You let the straw just roll right across those threads and you try and catch it in your fingertips. It's kind of just a fun thing to try and do. So you just sit it right there on top of the loop, let go, and it'll just roll right across to the other hand. Now, as you saw me do, you can even make it roll back to the other side. It's a little bit more difficult. So it's super simple, super easy to do. All you have to do is set the straw on there and let go. I found it's a nice effect to kind of let go and let it float there for a second before it starts to roll. So if you can find that spot where it's gonna balance and kind of sit right there and look like it's floating between your fingers before it starts to roll over, really nice touch. So you have it right there and then you can kind of under your command just by bringing this hand up a little bit make it just roll to the other one. So loops are great for making all sorts of things look like they're defying gravity. You can make all sorts of different things look like they're floating playing cards, money. Watch the bill lift up right like that. So as you can see, these really are just tiny little loops of invisible elastic thread. Invisible thread is just a super, super thin thread that's virtually invisible to the naked eye. Under the right lighting conditions, it is visible. That's why we are using a very bright fluorescent light to show you this. You can see the little loops are just tied right there. So loops are available now at EvanEraTV.com. There's a link in the description if you want to pick some up. We are still shipping out for the holidays, but I don't think we can still guarantee delivery by Christmas. But if you want to place an order and get some loops or some other cool magic tricks, some laugh at life gear. Link as always is in the description of this video and at www.evaneratv.com. And that is the secret behind the magic floating straw. All right guys, that is it. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me and share it with a friend who you think might like it. I really do appreciate all the thumbs up and the shares on the video. It helps more than you guys know. So if you take the time to share a video on your Facebook or your Twitter, if you give it a thumbs up, I really, really appreciate it. I just want to say thank you to everyone who does that. It's such a big factor in the videos getting views on YouTube. YouTube. So if you guys would take the time to just hit the thumbs up button, share it with a brother, sister, a family member, uh, like you can send it to somebody through text message or email, or you can use YouTube's new sharing feature. As I said, loops are available in our online shop right now, www.evanairtv.com if you want to pick up a pack so that you can perform these amazing levitation tricks at home. We have a lot of other cool magic gear and laugh at life stuff, as I said. Go check it out, and I want to say thank you to everyone who's placed an order and helped us spread the magic all over the world. If you're on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter, I have all of those social media platforms to go follow me on there for a lot of cool content that you don't see here on YouTube. All right guys, it is giveaway time. We have some really cool giveaway items for this video. If you're new to this channel, I do a giveaway on almost every single video we do. Kind of just become tradition to give this stuff away to you guys. So if you want to win any of these giveaway items, we're giving away the magic chain, we're giving away the polyethylene oxide, giving away the imp bottle and a couple packs of loot. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway is give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I recommend leaving as many comments as you can because I'll go through, pick random comments, mail you the tricks so that you can do the magic at home. All right, guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a private message on YouTube with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Click right over there to watch another one of our videos. You can check out the shop right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. The vlog channel is right down there as well. Posting a lot of cool new vlogs there from the Europe tour. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.